here we are about ready to introduce you to an artist who's multi-talented here in the space of our Epic Center in downtown Kalamazoo. She does poetry, she does art, and she does holistic healing. Let's go meet her now. We were striving to thrive. We had a drive to be alive. We were striving to thrive. We had a drive to be alive, a drive to be alive, a drive to be alive, a drive to be alive. And now we're 25. A lot of my sisters got fibroids and tumors. My brothers, they all stressed out from the high noise and rumors. All right, I'm going to ask you a real tough question. Tell me about Taslim. Who are you? Taslim. I'm multidimensional. I'm, I'm a mother. I'm an educator. I'm a wife. I am a holistic healer. I am a social activist, I'm a music producer, and I'm just all around, I guess what you would call the Renaissance woman. <laughs> so poet, actress, holistic healer, how are those all three combined? Well, art is therapy, so I've often shared at universities art as therapy. So I may have a workshop where I open up with a poem, and the poem is about art and healing. And I may have a the poem crowd. perhaps you've written? Yes and I'll have a crowd do breathing exercises. And sometimes the poems that I do in those type of workshops are interactive. The family eating at Whole Foods standing up straight while some of my people still crawling. Arteries clog, memories fog. We are royalty that has fallen. Brain on freeze, the train of disease. And some of us still st 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 stolen. We were striving to thrive. We had a drive to be alive. We had a drive to be alive. We were striving to thrive. We were All right, I am ready for a lesson. What are you gonna teach me? Okay, I'm gonna teach you the art of storytelling, but just to write a short poem, and I want you to tell me about yourself. I do this usually as an intro to students, so where I'm from. Not necessarily literally where you're from, but I want you to use your five senses. Ooh. So, okay. You for example, you might just say, I'm from, I'm from a place where biscuits are fluffy and they're marinated in cinnamon okay. goodness, or, you know, just so describe it. Like, how does it taste? How does it feel? How does it smell where you're from? All right, so I pick this up. Yep. And we'll make this as simple as possible. Yes. I'm left handed in my right mind. Okay. So, um, I smell the ba bale of hay, mm -hmm. okay. period. Okay, yes. Then I can go, um, I hear the sound of a bird. Mm -hmm. How's that? Um, I feel the heat of the summer. Mm, I like that. I taste, wow, I taste the piece of straw. Mm. I touch the mane of a horse. Mm. Grew up on a farm. I'm wow. a Hoosier farm girl. <laughs> How's that? It. I love it. I need them blessings. I'm tired of stressing. I need them blessings. I'm tired of stressing. I need them blessings, 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 blessings. So as teenagers, even adults, any man saying the right words like, I love you. Oh, sisters, we give it all up. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're through. But what we don't realize, see, we looking for divine love that can only come from the Creator. Talk about how faith has been part of your, your art. Faith has always been a part of my art. I actually grew up, the name of my poetry book is Black Baptist Muslim Mystic. So I grew up um, in church, in a Baptist church, and I, so it was always a part of my household. My parents are um, really into their spiritual life. They not only just went to church on Sunday, they were the kind of people that it showed in the home. Like we couldn't say bad language, we were very mannerable. And so as I grew in my, my spiritual life, personally and myself, I became a Muslim. And then I was also introduced to the a more spiritual side, which is known as Sufism. And so there are many well-known Sufi poets like Rumi and Hafiz. And so it really plays a 
that means everything to me because everything is a spiritual realm. Everything is spiritual. This is just a vessel that I feel like God uses me and speaks through me. So a lot of times I feel like it's just my soul being written out on paper and I share it with other people. So that has a lot to do with what I do. Is um, I always ask the Most High to channel my words and to use me to be a vessel in my words to heal or no matter what I do. So it's very important to me. And then you'll truly be able to have that unconditional divine love for someone else. Because you'll have that unconditional divine love for yourself, for yourself, for yourself, for yourself. I need them blessings. I'm tired of stressing. I need them blessings. I'm tired of stressing. I need them blessings. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. Never weak. She speak from that ancient antique heat from the soul. So divine, reminded blind minds, it's time to be bold. See, she be straight on the path, so she never fold. Natural foods that exude from my body, so she won't corrode. The cold and colds are deception and rejection. It feel like, well, some of y'all might just explode, but she was foretold that she be bestowed to unload these warrior olds. Don't you know she got a spiritual flow and glow that make her lyrics superb like golden to earth on African fields, she heal with her words. From Tennessee to overseas, they play her MP3 on the streets. By the curb, clear messes with the flow. So your soul not disturbed. She be ill with them rhymes, quite clever but never absurd. And voice so beautiful like a beautiful bird. Taslim Jamila, one of the best that you've heard. One of the best as you've heard. One of the best that you've heard. See. I'm mystical, like a Kofi wearing Sufi, like a Buddhist chanting eating sushi, like a gangster gorilla, some call Sunni, biblically baptized, quonka aniquized. You see, I own this. Y'all still paying Chase Bank, you gotta loan this. Honing my skills so your brain strain, trying to comprehend my throne is queen. Expertise expounding, exponentially grown this. Independent artist, but you still can't clone this. Respect claimed and I demanded it. Original oracle, spiritual flow and flying as well. Hmm. I commanded it. Hand it down on lips, on scripts, like Oshun. I demanded it. See, I spot my victims like a Bruce Lee movie scene, but don't scream or stress. My technique, well, it'll be a painless process. I got express access to what the Mau Mau possess, yes. And my battle dressed with finesse, mind blessed, no contest. Produce the music that compliment my lyrical freedom of press. See, I'm an MC and poet like MC Light. Maya Angelou rock him and boomy at best. Over you the codes of my rhymes, real clear. Scientifically engineered, I'm so sincere. See, I be near to the celestial sphere. Negative energy disappear when I enter without fear. In tune with my God intuition, in tune with my naturopath physician. See, I give you that organic nutrition. Cause boy, y'all crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. Like Harry Tugman, freeing mental and spiritual slaves. I free them all the way from the cradle to the grave, from the cradle to the grave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. You crave to be saved, and I'm just so brave. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.